Hey everybody, Oko here, and welcome back to our playthrough of Final Fantasy XI. So we're here in Port Juno, where my intent is to proceed with the Rhapsodies of Vanadil missions, so we can get some of that storyline going. Now, I'm not quite sure where we need to go to initiate this next cutscene. Um, we're looking for either Tenzin or Prish. Call to serve. Tenzin learned about the darkness that the future holds and insists that it can be changed. Your bonds with him cause the orb to flare up and open a new path before you. The next step is to meet with Prish in Port Juno. So, let's look for Prish. I don't have the... Trust. Prish. So, I haven't completed the step. Hmm. I don't know what to do, guys. I do not know how to trigger the next sequence. I'm gonna just... Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna go to... See if I can track down... Aldo or someone from the Tenshodo. I just do not know what to do. Telling me to come to Port Juno and to look for Prish. Oh, maybe she's at one of the air... She's just not showing up, though. Ah, in one of the airports, I thought, maybe, but... No, she's just... Ah. Okay, let me just try the hideout, I guess. Hello, Oko. What brings you here today? Oko showed the ancient melody G. Hmm, this is... I had heard that it was related to some ancient technology, but now it may all makes sense. I suppose your intention here is to use the AMAN to have its adventurers solve the riddle. As such, I suppose it's best if I give you free reign to operate, Oko. Just to be safe, I'll be sure to keep an eye on their movements as well. Hmm, okay. Ah, I don't know if I can carry on this game with Eldenarsh anymore. Uncle Aldo, I told you kids a thousand times, you're not to be coming around here. If you're looking for Verena, she can't come out right now. Fickies! Thicky seeds. They're sprouty wouted. What do you mean? There is no way those seeds could grow here in Juno. Come on, we'll show you. Looky, looky. You can't see it, but there's a sprouty wouty under the soil. It's really, really growing. The seed is we planted. The seed we and Thicky planted is growing. Well, I'll be. Aldo. Verena, the seed you planted with Thickblix has begun to sprout. These kids must have taken real good care of it. What you and Thickblix tried to do, maybe it wasn't all a lost cause. I'm so sorry, Thickblix. I've been caught up in my own troubles recently and haven't come to check on these seeds. It sprouted. I knew that if everybody pitched in, it would grow. Thickblix. But how? It's still just a sprout, but I know it'll bloom someday. I wish I could water it and feed it, too. But if everybody keeps working hard, it will bloom. It will. Yes, Fickblex. It will bloom. We will make sure that it does. Well, I've got to go now, but I'm not sad anymore. What is that phrase you taught me, Verena? Yeah, thank you. 
That's the first phrase you taught me when I came here. We beastmen don't have a word for thank you, but I like that phrase a lot. I wanted to teach it to my beastmen friends. Thank you, everybody. Thickblix. Thickblix! I'm so sorry, Thickblix. If I only had the courage that you had, I can't do anything. Verena. If Thickblix believed he could get those seeds to grow, then I have to believe there is something I can do. You just wait, Elden Arsh. I'm not gonna let you stand in our way. Alright, a little more information. Hello, Oko. What brings you here today? Showed the ancient melody G. Hmm, this is... I had heard that it was related to some ancient technology, but now it all makes sense. Yeah, I don't even quite remember... getting these key items. Just keep talking to him. Hmm, is that it? Well, look who's here. Welcome to my humble abode. I've got lots of wacky stuff, don't I? Hey, they may be scrap, but they're all priceless things a certain person gave me. Hey, what are you doing? That's my bed. Anybody home? Well, speak of the devil. It's Mr. Narihira. I see you're still kicking. Ha. Huh. You post-war youngsters ain't got nothing on my generation. Well, it's good to see you. How's the clock, Galmut? I've been taking good care of her. Don't tell me you can't hear her ring. Huh? What did you say? Just kidding. Of course I hear her fine. But I hear the gear is struggling a little. Might be time to give her some oil. Well, you haven't changed a bit. And I see you've got a friend over. Listen here, young one. Galmut's a model citizen now. But he was a regular hooligan before. Oh no, not that again. Oh, defensive, aren't we? Anyway, Galmut came to Juno about three years ago. He came to the big city to make his mark. Every day he worked from sunrise to sunset. And when I finally got enough dough to open my own shop, I got conned out of all of it. I lost every last skill. And that really shook him. He lost faith in his fellow man, scowling at everyone like a starving dog. That's when Mr. Narihira offered me a job in the clock tower. At first I thought he was just another con man, but once I started, I really enjoyed it. You know, you work so hard in there that when you finally hear the bell ring, man, it echoes right to the heart.
and I was glad to find someone who'd carry on in my place. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We need some clock tower oil. And with the beastmen on the rampage, the store's almost out. No way, really? Without oil, we... Maybe the Ten Shotos still have some. I hate doing business with their kind, though. Me too. Hey, I know. Would you mind bringing us some clock tower oil? We'd be so grateful. She's such a delicate machine. Without it, I'm afraid she'd go haywire. Of course. All right. Thanks a bunch. First, head over to the Ten Shoto here in Juno. All right. We'll visit the Ten Shoto, see if they have some oil. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to do. S I think what I need to do is. <sighs> Am I recording? Hold on. Okay, yes, I am. <sighs> so I think what I need to do is actually catch up on. I think the reason we're having trouble finding Prish is because we need to catch up on the chains of Promethea. I think we have to do this, actually. Hmm. The airship piloted by Lovrance did not arrive in Sandoria, but Port Bastok. How much longer will Nagmalada wait for your arrival at the northwestern tower of Soja? So I'm going to investigate this a little bit and see where this takes the story for us. Okay, we're leaving Juno because we're not getting what we need out of this place. <laughs> Chapter 5, The Return Home. So here we are doing... Back to Chains of Promethea. Hopefully this will help us proceed with the Rhapsodies of Anadil. If we can get a little further in, uh, into this. Yeah, so I guess it's been a while since we've been to Port Bastok. So here we are. Where? Why this isn't... Huh? This ain't Sandoria. I thought we were going to the cathedral. Smooth move there, Luvi. You look all smart and stuff, but you really ought to get yourself a compass. Come on, admit it. You took a wrong turn back there, didn't you? No. We are right where we are supposed to be. Bastok. However... We must have arrived slightly ahead of schedule, as I do not see our welcoming party. Well, that is of no matter. Let us be off for the metalworks. So we want to go. We want to find Sid. Pretty sure I remember where he is, but yeah, he's sort of at the center of everything. So, which one's down? This one. Ugh! Oh, I hate these elevators! Ah, oh, they drive me crazy. Ah, oh, it's just so annoying. As if things don't take long enough in this game. Oh, well. Patience, Oko. Patience. Remember, that's one of the reasons we're playing this game, is to work on our patience a little bit, because you have to have patience to play Final Fantasy XI, really. It's a very... Time-consuming, strategic, long-winded game that requires a lot of patience. So, Sid is up here somewhere, right? He's right in the center. Sid's lab. Alright, my man. Got some good news for us? Oh, Oko, what are you doing here? I heard that you went back to Tavnasia. Did you already meet up with Lovrance?
Oko, how did you get off the island? Ah, it's Sid. Prish, do you know this man? Master Sid, we were able to return earlier than first planned. I must thank you again for allowing us to borrow such a wonderful bird. The airship has been handed over to the good men at the port. So, how did my CID fly? Bet the ride was smooth as silk and soft as Ceruta cotton. There are still a few stability problems that need to be stomped out, but her speed is far superior to that of the ships in the Armada. Quite superior indeed. It was a wonderful experience. But this adventure in the skies reminded me of how I am incessantly plagued with terrible luck. I only had the good fortune of meeting with you sooner, Master Sid. Ha ha ha! You've got it wrong there, Laurence. You were lucky to meet me when you did. If you had come along any earlier, I wouldn't have been able to help you. The CID was just completed a few weeks ago. Why, you're the first to ever experience her turbo engines. The first? So, did you all find this Cardinal Mildorian you were looking for in Tabnasia? Unfortunately, no. The Cardinal has not been back to the archipelago. I was able to retrieve valuable information on her past from these two young ladies, but I am no closer to grasping her whereabouts. Hmm, that's not good. What about the Magicite? Were you able to find out anything from me? Actually, I did learn something very intriguing. However, this is not a good place. Did you say Magicite? You heard me right. Oko, you said you were looking for some too, right? I was hoping that you could join me when Lovrance tells his story about Tavnasia's Magicite. But first, why don't you tell everybody what we know about the energy source in the Northlands? I see. So you have been following the advice of Eshentarl, traveling to the three nations of Sandoria, Bastok, and Windurst to gather information on the multinational expedition. If we can discover where the Tavnasian Magicite brought to Bastok originated, then we will discover the final destination of our journey. True, but after I told Oko what I knew about the Dark Gem, I did a little more research on my own. When I asked an old friend about the subject, he told me something quite interesting. My Magicite wasn't found lying around in the Northlands, but inside a strange relic that was brought back from the Northlands. A strange relic? Yes, some kind of strange box. According to the priests of Tavnasia, the ancients made the box from some unidentifiable metal, just like the kind used in the Crag of Dam. That sounds like the baptismal vessel. Baptismal vessel, Prish? Do you know something about this box? Of course. The Tavnasian theologians used that box when performing the baptism ceremony. It should still be in the Sequarium's tabernacle. I'd know because I'm the only one who has a key to that place. I've been protecting the key ever since before the Great War, on Miss Mildorian's orders. The baptism ceremony? Then Prish's accident was... Yes, why didn't I see it before? Even though you were deemed the abhorrent one, you still took part in the theologian's baptism. Then let me tell you this. While in Tavnasia, I attempted to investigate the baptismal vessel for Master Sid. However, I was forced to abandon my investigation before I even began. Just days before I arrived, an officer of the duchy, Nagmolada, broke into the sacrarium and stole the relic. The vessel was stolen? It's those hooded bastards from Juno. They must have learned that I was searching for the origins of the Black Magicite and stole the box so I couldn't get my hands on it. I was so close. Now I'll never learn its secrets. Wait a minute. Prish, you said you knew about the box? What can you tell us? Even the smallest bit of info could help. The vessel's evil. It changed my life, dragged me to hell and back. Prish? We have to get the vessel out of Nagmalada's hands. It belongs in Tavnasia. 
Prish, wait. Prish, you cannot keep going off on your own. It is too dangerous. Oko, you mentioned that you and Tenzin had made arrangements to meet Nagmalada in the northwestern tower of Soja. A great energy in the Northlands. While not necessarily relevant to my current mission, I am intrigued on a personal level. I will be waiting for you in Bosidin Oko. Well, this doesn't look good now, does it? Oko, you should probably try to catch up with your companions. ASAP. Me? I'll keep trying to find out more on the Magisite. I've still got a few cards up my sleeve. Did he say anything else? This baptismal vessel. Now, if I could get my hands on that. Just think of the advancements the Republic could make. Oko, you need to hurry to the northwestern tower of Soja. I'll stay here and keep trying to find out more on the Magisite. I've still got a few cards up my sleeve. So, we're heading back to the Bosidine Glacier. We're going to be going to new areas there that we haven't gone to, if you can believe it. We have not discovered that whole area yet. Whoops. So, I'll take the survival guide from here, and I'll meet you guys there. Here we are at the Bos Bosidine Glaciers. Where we want to head to is this tower, way up here. It's the northernmost one. Or not northern, but highest in altitude, I guess you could say. So to get there, it's actually not that far. We just got to go a little north here and then go along this little ledge part and then up and then through a little crack in the mountain to get to it. But we've never been there before, so... But the good news is we're outside. We don't have to fight anything. We can just r ride there. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, so it's a little bit of an unexpected episode. I wasn't quite I wasn't quite expecting to do more of this uh, now. Uh, but yeah, why not? You have to do it eventually, the Chains of Prometheus stuff. Uh, yeah, I forgot that they were on a plane or a airship heading like up. Prish and Tenzan and Almeya. No wonder they weren't showing up in Port Juno. Anyway, it's okay. I'll do this for a while. We're going to go around here and then go the left way. This will look very similar to the other ledges that we go down and along. Here in the Bosidin Glacier. The lower ledge that looks like this, it's got like the tigers on it. Yeah, so things go nice and quick with the, uh, the, the mounts. There's no monsters around here, which is strange. I don't know why. I have been up here before. I don't know. Seems kind of familiar. Anyway, I guess it all looks sort of the same. So, I'm going to go up this way. Yep. Right up this way. And then sort of a northwestern... There we are. I see the crack in the mountain. So this is uh, all area that we could have come to much earlier to investigate, but we didn't really need to. None of this was part of the original part of the game. I wonder what they had up here. Oh, I guess it was just a closed gate. Because, yeah, see, it's sort of one of these things, and I guess we're going to be going down. Through a gate. I guess before the Chains of Promethea expansion came out, you just weren't able to get through here, I guess. But now we can. So we'll enter the tower. 
Now here's a cutscene. Where the hell have you been, Oko? We have been waiting for your arrival. Did you encounter something unexpected? Never could I have never could I have imagined that such a masterpiece of ancient architecture could be hidden beneath these towers. I sense the gates of paradise are within our reach. Lovrance, we were not expecting to see you here. Hey buddy, if you came to try to stop me, don't think I'll leave here without a fight. I'm not going anywhere until I get my box back. I have no such intentions. I'm simply here as an heir to the Knight's Mistal. What worries me more is the absence of Nagmalada. I assume he has already set off for the fourth crystal. And that is what we must do. Follow me. Phoenix will lead the way. Please say I have the map. Oh, thank goodness. I would have been, I would have been very upset with myself if we uh, hadn't have had that. So, let's prepare a little bit here. Um, objective list. Region. This is probably near the end. No? Oh, maybe it's uh, part of the Promethea thing. Yeah, it is. Alright, so there we are. Conflict Soja. Alright, and then our trusts. Let's move forward. I have a feeling we're at pretty high level that this is not going to be too difficult. So here we have a maze lizard. Let's see if anything aggros us. No, nope, they're leaving us alone. That's good. Ugh, spiders. Gross. What's that? Snowball. Oh, it's one of those sort of things. So here's a stone door. Um, you know what? I'm going to clear this room first because we're about to spawn some monsters. So let's just get rid of this snowball. It would be nice if Shantoto would uh, cast fire, but I don't know if they're that smart. Well, that didn't take very long, did it? Okay. Let's click on the stone door. And that spawns. Oh, a great big uh, golem called a Nun... Nuniyunui? Nuniyunui. Ugh. Lord. Alright, so it's gone. I thought there was two things that were supposed to spawn, though. Yes. No? I guess not. So... Uh, trying to get to the door. There we are. The trap on the door is broken? Hold on. <laughs> oh god, come on. What do you mean? Huh. The trap on the door is broken. I'm not... Oh! Enter through the door. Yes. That was weird. Hmm. That was odd. I don't know what quite happened there. We had some technical difficulties there, it seems, with the software or something. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe the golem had to completely vanish or something. I don't know. That was weird. But, anyway, we're through. So, um... Alright. Let's get on the elevator. Wait. There we are. Go to the lower level. Cool. Where it stops, nobody knows. Wow, look at all this. Look at this place. This place is incredible. Let's take a look at the map. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what else do we have around here? It's 
So here's another stone door. Something's loading. Yep. Good lord. It's... The Mother Crystal. Legend says that Vanadil was formed when it split into five pieces. This is one of those pieces. The divine light it emits. This is from where we are born and where we all eventually return. Simply gazing upon its beauty soothes the mind and soul. Hey, Oko, can you hear it? That song, the crystal, it's calling us. That star, you, song, yours. Someday, hope, become, dreams, our prayers. And what was split asunder will once more become whole. Complete and inseparable for all eternity. Now that all the performers have arrived, the play can begin. Well, there's the portal box. Magmalada! You slimy thief, give back the vessel. Ah, Tavnasia's precious baptismal vessel. I was amused when I learned how the box was being used. According to the old man, Despachier, all those who entered the faith were required to pledge their loyalty to the dawn goddess before this vessel. Well, not quite practical. It is a quite intriguing use. In this way, even devolved creatures such as yourselves could become subconsciously aware of the power of the box. Not practical? What do you mean? Do you know what the box is really used for? Of course! Just as I know the use of that amulet you carry. The amulet? Many millennia ago, the king of the Xylart made that amulet. The testament of affinity. To peer into the hearts of the Kulu. The Xylart were born with the ability to communicate directly with the mind of another. This is called the Whisper of the Soul. However, as centuries passed, some people were overcome by the emptiness and lost this power of communication. Those who could no longer harness the Whisper of the Soul were known as the Kulu. The Xylartian king ordered the production of amulets, such as the one you possess, to contain the darkness residing within these unfortunate souls and open their hearts. And thus, the thoughts of all those who wore one were known by him. That amulet you hold, it was given to you by the Xylartian prince, was it not? And now you have begun using it to further your twisted schemes. Oko, the boy has been using you as a guide over space and time into a world unknown to him. Using you to guide him to the Mother Crystals. And that's why I can see what he sees. However... It seems as if he made a poor choice in guides. It took too long for you petty adventurers to reach the fourth crystal, let alone the first three. Thanks to your incompetence, I had enough time to obtain this box, as well as find out who you really are. It was you who brought an end to our era. You who betrayed us. You Selchtius. Whatever that means. Though you bear the mark of the Kulu, you betrayed your people and the trust of the Xylartian prince. Though you have inherited the will of the slumbering gods, you betrayed them as well. And though you were born of the Mother Crystal, now you plot to betray her. My heart yearns to know why you have chosen the path of traitor. However, that answer can wait for a later day. The answer I seek now is that to a different question. 
tell me, tell me where you obtained the power to control the emptiness. When the attempt to open the gates of paradise failed, and al Tia was destroyed, why did only you survive? What happened that day? What did you see and what did you learn? What unspeakable powers do you possess? Oh, that's so he's Celtius? Whoever that is. No answers, Celtius. Then the only option left to me is to force them from the emptiness inside you. Prish! Stop! <laughs> Behold the true power of the Eye of Altana. Behold the transformation of emptiness to magicite. Did you forget, Celtius? Now answer me, boy, unless you want to be ripped apart from the inside. Oko! Don't lose this! Come on, Celtius! Stop thinking and start talking! Tell me! Tell me what to say! Tell me what to sing! What? That star is you and the song is yours, and someday that hope will become our dreams, our prayers. Shine forth, star of hope. Let your song ring out across all of Anadia. And what was split asunder will once more become whole, complete and inseparable for all eternity. trying to answer me? Is it only that I cannot hear him because I, I have lost the whisper of the soul? Princess Amidala. I bring thee two children who no longer hear the whisper of the soul. The boy on the right is Celtius, the boy on the left is Nagmalada. I beseech the blessings of the king before the commencement of our journey to the city of the Kulu. Thou hast nothing to fear. Those who receive the blessings of the king may abide in the city of the Kulu without worry or care. We have made a pledge to the dawn goddess, Altana. We shall make all haste in discovering the cause of thine illness, and return to a world with neither Xylart nor Kulu. Though the whisper of the soul has grown quiet for thee, I ask for thy trust. Thou must live as before. Believe in the honesty of people, 
as thou did when their thoughts were open to thee. Oh-ho! So the living immortals have finally been born among the children of the dawn. Why dost thou seek to show us this vision of paradise? This heavenly garden the Xylart believed to be the goal of all on Vanadil? What are we waiting for? Graviton, all of us, we should strive for that perfection. If we behold that vision, we too can understand what they are aiming for. We can join with the Xylart and be whole once more. This senseless conflict between us will end. Seltius. What is wrong with all of you? We have nothing to fear. Diablo says... It is too late, Seltius. We have already fallen. Our hearts have been stained with corruption. It cannot be. Dawn Maiden, Vinoil. What are you doing here? It is forbidden to enter this place. Negmalada. Why dost thou, Akulu, work for the Xylart? Lady Vinoil. This battle has gone beyond the point of salvation. The killing, the lies, the mistrust. We are no longer capable of understanding one another. It's all the fault of the terrestrial avatars. They are merely using the foolish Kulu to force the king of the Xylart to keep the gates of paradise closed. And then there is that traitor, Seltius. All this blood has been spilled as a result of him breaking his promise to you. Thou dost yet believe in me, Nagmalata? Thou dost believe my words, my pleas, to return this world to a place with neither Xylart nor Kulu. Lady Vinoil, they are calling me a traitor to the Kulu people. However, I never once considered myself to be one of them. I never once considered my actions to be a betrayal. I have returned to your side. That is all I have done. I will never betray your trust in me. Even if thou discovers I have betrayed that trust. Lady Vinoil, not only thee, I intend to betray all the Xylart. It is because I... Oko. you help us the mysterious amulet has been returned to you you cannot remember when exactly, but you have obtained the light of Azil. It's been a while since we've been to one of these type of places. I'm just gonna run past things and ignore things that don't aggro us. The things here are stronger than the, the other ones that we visited, and but there's also and there's also uh, fewer uh, islands here floating around. I don't know why we don't have um, 
any maps for these places, really. I don't know. Are we supposed to have maps for this? I don't know. Oh, I remember. There was like some sort of quest we had to go on in order to get the maps to to here. It's kind of coming back to me now. Anyway, we'll I'll just have to do without it. Alright, so... Let's fight the stray. Kill the ones that are attacking us. Here's the second island. What's that? A little light. So starting on the next island after this, we're going to have to do a little hunting for some monsters. But in the meantime, this is just pretty straightforward still. Oops. Got a little close to those. I guess it's okay. Yeah, I forgot how creepy this all was. Yeah, it looks, looks great though. Look good. So, what do we got here? Is this one of them? No. That is, I think, a returning... That right there, I think, returns back to the first island we were just at. But, we want to move forward. Not back. Let's creep behind these ones. So, here... This is lit up. Um, I'm not so sure I want to go there, actually. Um, yeah, no, I don't think that was the right way. Oh boy, there's some big monsters down here. Maybe we should fight some of them, huh? Let's fight this big one here. So, is there... Records of eminence for this. Not what I wanted. Quest. Here we are. All right, well, now we'll fight some of them. Because I forgot about the records of eminence, as usual. So let's fight this one, and there's our uh, warp right there. Let's do a few of the easy ones down here. Here, I'll do a whole bunch of this. I wonder if this will count as multiple ones. Wow, this is easy. <laughs> Four. Five. All right, that's good enough. So, six. One will be seven. I'll wait for the ground to light up. Yep. Now we got to start looking for particular kinds of monsters. On this floor, we're looking for a propagator, and I just realized that is the name of a monster, an alien from Final Fantasy VIII. Isn't it? 
Wow, it looks like snow, huh? It looks neat. So, let's look for propagators. I don't know what they look like. It's none of these. I don't suppose we can do a wide scan when we don't have the map. Oh, we can. But I don't see a propagator. It's a notorious monster. Um, okay, I see. Uh, yeah, no, what we actually need to do is find these areas where we have to spawn the monsters. Okay, so on Island 3, we want to go northwest. Okay. Yeah, first we have to find these little areas. Yeah, spawn the monster, fight the monster. So on this level, it's the propagator. So to find that, yeah, we'll just head northwest. This must be it here. So yeah, this is the gate we're looking for. Memory flux. So let's click on this. You sense a dark, empty presence. Yeah, there it is. Propagator! Yikes. Oh, this is like one of those brain bugs from the Starship Troopers. I remember this. So now what do I do? Do I click on this now? Let's see. Memory flux. I thought I was gonna get some sort of drop or something from that, so yeah, I guess we just click on this. The memory flux. Oko. So, this is emptiness. I never believed I would be swallowed into its darkness. Oko, you, ha you have my thanks. If you haven't awoken me, I dread to think what would have happened. But if I am here, it is possible the others have been taken by the emptiness as well. We must look for them. Um, is that all I had to do? Okay, yeah, that's all we have to do. So now I think... Now all we have to do is find the, um, find the correct, uh, portal out of here. So there it is right there. I hope. Oh, knocked us back. Whoa. Alright, so we got a Zircon ring. From... Uh, our Records of Eminence. Ten, ten monsters. So I'll check that out. Oh, what happened? Oh, we're being attacked. That's what happened. So I couldn't teleport. Come on.
let's take a look at that zircon ring. Probably something and in, increases intelligence and water ability or something like that. Is that what that is? Now in this island, we want to go east. Um, east is this way, Oko. Yeah, so we're in Island 4 now. We're going to go as far east as we can. That's where we're going to find the Memory Flux Gate. That's probably it right in front of me there, I think. Yep. There it is. So, let's... I like the second one. You sense a dark presence. So this one spawns a gorger. I think. Doesn't seem to be working. Oh no, a solicitor. I had the wrong monster uh, selected. Alright, let's take out this solicitor before it takes out us. This looks like something I've seen before. I think it was in that Kong Skull Island movie. They have spiders with really long legs, just like this. And there might have even been something like that in The Mist. That movie that based on that Stephen King book. Short story. Okay, now we click on the memory flux again. Maya? Nope. Lovrance. Oko. This place. The spark of life has never flared here, I feel. Is this what they call emptiness? I knew that if I followed you, something extraordinary was bound to occur. But this? My mind yet reels from the knowledge that the Xylart and the Kulu still exist in this world. The ancient people who tried to open the gates of paradise. And to think that the legend of the Mother Crystals, entombed deep below the surface of Vanadil, was true. I must track down that Genoan diplomat, Nagmalada. He and I have much to discuss. Let us be on our way. Okay. Now, there is, uh, there's a possible place up here. Where is it? It's all the way down there. So that's a possible telepoint. Yep, there it is. It lit up. I guess it always, maybe it's just optional which one you go to. Either that or we just got really lucky. Let's try Holy 2. If we have time to cast it. Do anything? I don't know. I was hoping that it would have area effect. Okay, let's kill these things around us that are annoying us. Now we're on to the last level. The fifth and final one. So now we want to go northwest again. We're going to sort of head in a northwesterly direction. Hmm. What's that doing there? I'm not quite sure. Hmm. Let me see. 
see here. I'm a little bit lost. Oh, I think I'm just really far away from where I thought I was. Hold on. Yeah, I sure wish I could move faster. Oh, I don't suppose we could call our mounts in here. No way. Yeah, okay. I, I kind of see where we are now. So there's a, a spire here. You see that spire there? That looks like Juno. That's the spire of Vasil. We might have to go there later. But in the meantime, we want to go this way. We'll keep on heading west and north. that gate, huh? We should be seeing it soon. I think I see it now. This looks like an archway in here. Alright, so this is going to spawn, just like the other two floors, this is going to spawn a notorious monster. As soon as we hit this. This one is called... Whoops. Uh, Ponderer. Doing pretty good here. Yeah, these monsters are no match for us at this point. We're going to be probably coasting through most of these, the rest of these expansions, really, at level 99. But yeah, it's, I don't mind that. <laughs> okay, so let's click on this and get another cutscene. Oko, is that you? There's Almaya. I knew she'd be here. Where is Prish? Why isn't she here? Oh, I see. Our search for her continues. This may sound strange, Oko, but as I lay dreaming, I am sure I heard Prish's voice calling to me. I believe she is somewhere deep in the bowels of this dreadful realm. Please, Oko, help me find Prish. We must all escape this awful place together. So, now we want to head to, uh... Yeah, we want to head to that spire I just pointed out. That spire of, uh, Zal. So we'll head sort of in a southeasterly direction now. Look for the giant tower. Kind of hard to see, it's so dark, but... Mm. Where is it? There it is, I see it. No, we're not going to fight any more monsters. We've done all we need to do. Here we go. Right this way. Right this way towards the tower. Spire of Vasil. by Altana's tears. 
If we go any further, we will plunge into the emptiness. Then we must backtrack and find another path. Oko, there was something I... Ah, good to see you are all safe and well. Nagmalada! Huh. <laughs> it seems that Diablo spoke the truth. Although I did think it strange that one could enter the emptiness without being devoured by its darkness. You have met with Diablos? Yes, it is his dream world of Dynamis. He said that if I helped you, Oko, we would find a way out of this place. Help Oko? Does the exit lie in this direction? There is little light remaining within this vessel. Celtius, as long as I have breath in my body, I will find you, no matter what it takes. Alright, let's cross our newly formed bridge and check out this final memory flux. Oh, this one's something different. Web of Recollections. Let's enter the web of recollections. All right, so we have a battle ahead. Dead end. Show yourself, Celtius. You can fight these in any order, but I'll just go from left to right. Let's just see how we do here. So we're fighting these again. These are the exact same as before, I guess. So the other ones just kind of stand there until this character, or this one gets uh, like down to 20%, I think it says online. So they just start slowly joining in, I guess, as needed. Wow, this isn't taking long. Let's do the accumulator next. Oh, you know, I should have done the other one, this agonizer. That's okay. Not too worried about it. I think we're good. Here we go, and the last one. All right, he's dead. XML wasted it with that uh, penta thrust. There's Diablos. Lord Diablos. Presh. So we meet again. He who is one with Celtius. Now that the light of the fourth crystal has been robbed, it will not be long before this land is infested by the emptiness. I fear that it may be impossible to thwart the plans of Celtius. If I had only realized earlier what he was attempting, Diablos, are you saying that you know what he is up to? Is he truly planning to thrust Vanadiel into the abyss of the emptiness? That may be the ultimate result of his actions. However, I do not feel it was his original intention. No, I learned the true ambition of Celtius in the form of a dream. The dream of this girl. 
Siltiers has come from Altier on a mission to protect the Celestial Capital. From where? That is ridiculous. The Celestial Capital was destroyed without a trace when the Xylart tried opening the Gates of Paradise over 10,000 years ago. Child of the Kulu, Altier was not destroyed as you thought. It still remains intact, its residents alive, resting in a safe place. A safe place? Beyond the fifth crystal? Oko, search out the final mother crystal. There you will find the truth you seek. I do not understand. Are you saying that there is a hidden realm beyond the fifth crystal? And the gates of paradise? They could also be... Ha 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 ha, foolish children. Do you still aimlessly seek the dream of paradise? I must warn you, it is not your will that guides you to the gates, but the will of Promethea. You and every other soul on this world are slaves to the will of the Twilight God. And that is why Bahamut, Keeper of the Gates of Paradise, has set out to destroy you. The will of Promethea? Promethea's curse on mankind? So the true reason Bahamut has deemed us his enemy lies in the curse. Lord Diablos, is there any way to break these chains that bind us? There is one way. Long ago, remnants of the Kulu came to me and asked me to release them from the chains of Promethea. I did as they asked. However, the result was tragic. The Kulu lost their original selves. Children of Anadil, Promethea's curse is necessary for the survival of their species. Without it, you would be nothing. It is only a curse because that is the name you have given it. It is only your chains because that is what you make it. However, if we are not purified of this curse, whether it is one or not, there is no avoiding a battle with the Worm King. And even if we are victorious, there is no stopping the emptiness from swallowing all life in Vanadil. There are no roads left for you to travel. Phoenix has been reduced to a mere fragment of her former self, while Fenrir, Guardian of Tomorrow, remains powerless. And Carbuncle, Bringer of Rainbows, still ponders over whether to lend his hand to your cause. This is because he realizes that he cannot save both of you. He must choose one, Mankind or Venadil. We must learn from Saltiers and the mistake he has made. In attempting to save both sides, he only caused them much pain. But that does not take away from the fact that he tried. Presh! Diablos, if you had anything close to a soul, you'd know that pain comes with the package. There's no way around it, but it's what makes us who we are. You're nothing but an empty shell. What happened to your soul? If you're going to live your life in fear of hurting someone, then you'll never be able to say anything. Then you'll never be able to save anything. You know nothing, girl. If you are so adamant about your cause, then why not carry the pain of all Vanadiel on your own? Sacrifice yourself for this world and its children. If you die, Bahamut's pact would be broken and Vanadiel would be saved. Break the pact? Why didn't I think of that? Kill the Keeper of the Apocalypse? Mm. Hey, I found something. You found something? Show me, show me, show me. No, wait. It's a body. Just a body? Why does this keep happening to us? We gotta go tell someone. But before we do... Russell, Russell. They're robbing us. <laughs> of course. The mysterious amulet has been stolen. You three... The mysterious amulet was returned to you. Mr. Negmalada. Oh, good. It was a false alarm. We're glad to see you're okay. Lady Eschenarl was so worried about you. We were so worried about you, too. I don't need your platitudes. What I need to know is why you three activated the ruins of Soja. 
Do you realize what you've done? Or were you just causing trouble as usual? It wasn't like that. It was Lady Eshinara. She asked the adventurers to do it. This is Eshinara's doing. What could she be up to? Did she activate the ruins to seal Diablos? Or could it be... Mr. Nagmalada was really mad. Mr. Nagmalada had steam coming out of his ears. What do we do? We didn't get the chance to tell him about Prish. She's still lying in front of that tower over there. But even if we leave her like that, she probably won't die. But if Prish finds us, we definitely will die. Which means, we leave her like that and stay alive. So the fifth crystal is in Altair. All right, so this exited us. Oh, at the same one, that one. Yeah, the one we entered from. Okay, well, I don't think there's anything left that we need to do here. What's this? A field manual. Mm -hmm. And a couple golems. Okay. Okay, we're going to go back to Bastok and talk to Sid. All right, Sid. Let's see what he has to say about all of this. Oko, I was starting to worry about you. Are you all right? I heard from Lovrance that you weren't able to get the box back. But at least you're in one piece. Somebody up there is smiling down on you. That's for sure. Master Sid. Ah, and Sir Oko. I commend you, adventurers, on your efficient methods of transportation. After our ordeal, Tenzin and Almaya made it back safe to Sandoria. However, there are still no signs of Prish. We can only pray that she was as resourceful as Oko, here in escaping from the glacier. Well, I have some bad news for you. A communications has just been sent out to all three nations from Juno. Prish is waiting on criminal charges. The duchy has issued a warrant for her immediate arrest. That is preposterous! When Prish sang her song, Siltius was able to escape. Neg Malata believes that Prish and the boy are working together. Prish's song? The fourth verse of the Memoria de la Stona. But where did she learn it? I do not know. But one thing is for certain. We must find Prish before Juno does. We then can ask her of the song and of the Keeper of the Apocalypse. Yes, and of Bahamut. What was she trying to tell us? How to break the pact with the Worm King? How to remonstrate against his actions? The pact. When the Keeper of the Apocalypse arrives, Bahamut shall destroy mankind. Destroy mankind? You mean to tell me the Conqueror of the Skies, Bahamut, is planning a massive genocide? Unfortunately, yes. And as far as we know, the Keeper of the Apocalypse has already arrived, in the form of the boy Celtius. Sent by the ancients from the celestial capital of Altair, Celtius's coming is foretold in mankind's pact with Bahamut, and that is why Bahamut, too, has awoken. And now, the Worm King has begun calling upon his slumbering minions. He is forming an army to fulfill the pact. We traveled to the den of the terrestrial avatar. However, he would not listen to our pleas. His heart is stained with anger, and there is no way to cleanse it. That is why the only option left before us is to somehow break the pact. But how? Break the pact? Hmm. This can't be that hard. Let's think about it. Keeper comes, Bahamut wipes out mankind. Keeper comes, Bahamut wipes out mankind. Keeper comes, Bahamut. Wait a minute, that's it. What if the Keeper of the Apocalypse never comes? then Bahamut would not have to. I don't know if this is what Prish was trying to say, but if we can do something about the Keeper, Bahamut won't have any pacts to fulfill. Vanadil will be saved. The problem is finding this Keeper. 
But we already know who he is. The keeper of the apocalypse is Celtius. Capturing the boy has been our mission from the start. It may be a nearly impossible task, but we have the assistance of Carbuncle, bringer of rainbows. Tenzen, if it is all right, I would like to try and locate Prish. Prish has the ability to communicate with Celtius. Perhaps she knows something that we have yet to realize. I am going to further investigate the celestial capital of Altair. If this is where the boy came from, then there must be a path to return there. Splitting up into three groups to find information on Prish and the Keeper. Why didn't I think of that? So, what are you going to do, Oko? Hmm... What are we going to do? Let's just go with the first one. Lovrance. I plan on traveling to Tavnasia to further investigate the celestial capital of Altaïe. It was the Tavnasian Cathedral that brought this name back from obscurity, and it is more than likely the place that the Cardinal Mildorian seeks out. True, if you happen to find out anything useful, come back here and we'll see what we can make of it. That goes for all of you. We're on... We're all on this boat for good. We may be in for some rough waters ahead. But you've got nothing to fear with good old Sid at the helm. Understood, Master Sid. Now, let us be off. We have no time to lose. Let's take care of that first. Dispatcher. Oko is Almaya. How is she doing? Greetings, Dispatcher. It has been too long. So are Lovrans. You need not worry, she is fine. Oko and I travel the world in search of a truth. A single truth that will restore light to Venadil and her children. Your granddaughter embraces the game goal as we do, and she will not give up until she has reached it. I can sleep easier knowing that such a noble knight as yourself is watching over my dear Almaya. However, she is often one to hide her true feelings away from others, even though she may be in pain. You, you are not causing her any pain, are you? Almaya is a very strong-willed young woman. She understands the responsibilities that lie before her and will not cower before them. That is why she blamed herself for not knowing more about the painting of Altaïe kept in the Tavnasian Cathedral's reliquarium. W what? Lady Almaya is not a theologian of the cathedral. No one expects her to know of the painting, however. Exactly. There was no way she could know of the painting. She was only a mere child when the piece was de donated to the cathedral. Oh, why must you blame yourself, poor Almaya? Sir Lovrance, I know some of the history behind the painting. Let me tell you of what I know. Long ago, I helped in the transport of the relic to the cathedral. Much tumult arose as a result of bringing that painting here. Your assistance is greatly appreciated, Despachier. I will relay everything you tell me to your granddaughter. Yes. It was some 25 years ago that the painting was brought to the archipelago. According to the Marquesate officials, the painting was found deep within ancient ruins known as the Temple of Ugalapi. It is said that the painting depicts a scene in the verse of a legendary song, the ancients and their attempt to open the gates of paradise. Yes, I remember it like it was yesterday. A gate of light hovering over a grand city the gatekeeper roaring to the heavens. The gatekeeper took the shape of a mighty dragon. However, his four legs were bound by mighty shackles. The image was the strongest in the painting. Many of the missionaries that came to view the painting would often call it the Relic of Chains or the Relic of the Dragon. I see. 
So at that time, the identity of the city was still unknown. Yes, until Cardinal Mildorian viewed the painting. It was she who told us the city was al -Tayu. As punishment for defying the gods, the city of al -Tayu was destroyed and banished to the bottom of the northern sea. After the cardinal revealed the truth of the painting, many a canticle was sung of this legend. There wasn't a soul in Tavnasia who had not heard one while sipping down a glass of brew in the local pub. However, why did the cardinal know of the city and its legend? Though I may be mistaken, I seem to recall that before arriving in Tavnasia, Mildorian was a priest who wandered the outlands on a quest for spiritual enlightenment. I have also heard tales that many of the holy relics that reached the archipelago were brought from the outlands by thieves and pirates. Perhaps the cardinal obtained her knowledge of Altaïa in these forsaken areas. The outlands? I see. Yes, I also remember how a group of Mithra came from those outlands demanding that we return the painting to the temple. I, too, have heard that tale. After a long series of talks, the cardinal was able to convince the Mithra to allow the painting to remain in Tavnasia, without defacing the honor of the cathedral. We were relieved, and with those Mithra beasts gone, we could go back to our normal, everyday lives. Mithra. Perhaps they know more of the painting. This past year, would you happen to recall the names of the Mithra, or where exactly they came from? I do not remember their names. I do not think they were ever referred to by anything other than the title of Sin Hunters. Sin Hunters, assassins sent from the Mithran homeland to do the dirty work of the Grand Chieftainess. So this painting must be of great importance to their race. Sir Lovrance, a young Mithran Sin Hunter, visited the safe hold a number of days ago. If you can find her, she may be able to better inform you of the secrets behind the painting. A sin hunter was here? Excellent. Despachier, I thank you very much for your assistance. I will heed your advice and begin a search for this Mithra. A sin hunter in Tavnasia. A quite unexpected turn of events, wouldn't you say, Oko? Let us travel to Windurst and inquire with the chieftainess about the sin hunters and the painting they desire. That's what we're doing. We're going to head to Windurst. And uh, specifically, we're heading to Windurst Woods. And we're going to be talk looking for someone named Perry Vashal. Pretty sure we've talked to this person before. So, I'll see you guys there. Okay, I remember this person. The closer we get, the more I remember. Yeah. It's been a while since we've been here, but yeah, I definitely remember this. You wish to hear of Altaïa, adventurer. A moment. To ask questions in such a blunt matter does not benefit a gentleman. My most humble apologies for the intrusion, Chieftainess Perry Vashai. My name is Louvrance and Mistal. To save the people of Anadil, I seek the truth that hides between the veil of history. A time of apocalypse is at hand. I beg you for the guiding knowledge of ages, passed down through the Mithran race. I understand your situation. However, I know nothing of the city painted in that picture. Even if you were to ask the Mithran trackers, I doubt they would have an answer for you. They are on a journey to fulfill an important duty. If I may be so bold, are the Mithran trackers following the scent of some grave crime? Yes, they came to demand atonement for the sins of the Tavnasian Cardinal. The Cardinal? What crime could she have committed? Strangely enough, her sins are related to the picture you speak of. That picture was stolen from the temple of Ugalapi. A Mithran tracker traveled to Tavnasia to recover it, but was instead presented with a deal by the Cardinal. A deal? The Cardinal apparently knew everything about the legend recited by the Mithra, and the duty that it entails. She also stated that the means to carry out that duty had been prepared in Tavnasia. 
The tracker had no choice but to accept the deal. The fate of Venadiel's people was placed in the hands of the Cardinal. Chieftainess, indulge me if you will. What is this legend, and what of the duty it reveals? What had your people intended to do? That duty was given to the Mithra by the ancient race depicted in the picture. A duty to awaken the sleeping gods. The sleeping gods? Surely you have heard the tale of the ancient race that, wo that wounded Vanadil by opening the gates of paradise. The emptiness that poured from the wound tried to swallow everything in its path. The mountains, the seas, the skies, the forests, even life itself. The living beings of Vanadil decided to use the tears that Altana had shed to cleanse the world. However, a battle erupted between the King of People and the King of Dragons over the Fifth Tear. A conflict that knew no end. That should be Fifth Tear, by the way. The people that survived used the power of the Sleeping Gods to heal the wounded land. And that is the legend told by the Mithra? Adventurer. In your travels, you would have seen the giant glowing crystals that lie hidden far away from civilization. Those crystals are the resting places of the gods. Slumbering within are the immortal beings who were calling forth to heal the land in the Age of Legend. The wounded land of Vanadil bleeds forth dreaded emptiness. It is now time for us to awaken the sleeping deities and mend our suffering world. And this is the role that the Cardinal attempted to fill? But how? That has not yet been revealed to me. But if you must learn the answer to that question, you should ask the Tavnasian theo theologian, who was a survivor of the Great War, before she is punished for that crime. Do you need further explanation? The Mithrin sin hunters never forgive a crime. The sin does not die with the sinner. Be careful with your actions. It is not our place to judge your sins, but in time, your sins may come to judge you. What do you make of her words, Oko? The theology of the Mithra veers quite dramatically from that of the Sandorian Cathedral in several respects. The legend concerning the five tears of Altana is especially at odds with what the elven believe. That is why I warn you not to swallow your tale without question. Talk of legends aside, the chieftainess description of the emptiness that has appeared in every corner of Venadil is an indisputable truth. However, the Mithran trackers are now chasing after the theo theologian, Prish, and not Cardinal Mildorian, which would mean that even the trackers were unable to locate the whereabouts of the Cardinal. Does this mean that the Cardinal has already bid farewell to this world? Has my astonishing luck finally failed me? It is nice to see you after so long, sir. I wonder if you remember old Hanoi Gamoi. I thought you might have informed me of your presence. I was mightaruly surprised to hear that you were in town. As always, your visits caused quite a stir. But I do babble wabble on. Your subordinates bade me pass this on to you. It is an item that should help tremendously in your task. But this is... Yes, indeed. It was broken when you crossed swords with that detestable Vuki. I went to Greateru Lenx to have this repaired for you. What's more, I finally made progress on the task you entrusted to me so long ago. That despicable bounty hunter that caused you so much trouble. Goldmane. You have information? Yes, according to some Mithran pirates, the rascal has purchased a small... Desert Tarud Island, south of Mora. I see. My luck has not forsaken me after all. Oko, I ask that you leave the rest of this task to me alone. My incredible luck does not extend to those around me. It may prove to be more of a hindrance than a help. Until next we meet. It's 
So our next destination is going to be heading to this island south of Mora. But we've never been there before, even though I've tried. <laughs> this is where we're finally going to need to figure out how to get to Babiki Bay. I couldn't get there before, but um, that might have been because we hadn't gotten to the appropriate part in the Chains of Promethea. So I think that might have been why we were being blocked before. So that's sort of the next... Uh, that's the next, the next objective, is to see if we can get to Babiki Bay. We're trying to get to a place called per Perga Norgo Isle, specifically, which is in Babiki Bay. All right, well, that wasn't very hard to find. Here we are, Babiki Bay. All we had to do was go to that little shoreline down by the water. I thought we looked there before. <laughs> Obviously not. Anyway, here we are, Babiki Bay. This is a brand new area. Please say we have the map. Good, we do. Not a very large area. Uh, looks like there is maybe a survival guide right up ahead, so we should probably flag that. Hmm, so we might even... Oh, dolmals. There's dolmals around here. That makes sense. Since we're right next to the Buburu Peninsula, it makes sense. There it is. So we're up at Beaky Bay, first time ever here. So there's a survival guide. Let me just check my records of eminence. Here we are, Babiki Bay. There is a uh, records of eminence. Apparently, we have to go all the way around this bay and as far south as we possibly can go. All the way to the very tip. The southern tip. So I'm just gonna run along here and I'm gonna I'm trying to kill uh, Dalmals just so that, in hopes that I might get some more hides. These are marine dolmals. Yeah, as soon as I get our 10 records of eminence, that was 6 out of 10. This is 7, 8. Let's get our mount handy, so we can skip through most of this. Um... We have 
to go north to go south. That's sort of how it works. Now we'll come around here. All right, let's go for a little journey here through this rocky little crag here. Mountains everywhere. I'm assuming we go this way. Are we still on track? Let's take a look. Yeah, we're doing good. Yes, we're doing marvelous. Keep going. Oh, actually, I might. This might be the wrong. Hmm. Yeah, this might actually be the wrong way to go. But let's just go and we'll see. Yeah, I think I might actually be in the wrong. Going to the wrong spot, actually. That's okay. Let's do a little exploring while we're at it. I can always cut this out. Yeah, I think we were actually supposed to take a ferry <laughs> from the survival guide. I think is what we were supposed to do, but anyway, that's not a big deal. God, this 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 is bigger than I thought. This this map. Okay, so yeah, so we're here. So we're in. Oh, gee. Yeah, okay. Here. What's down here? It's actually a cave down here. I wasn't expecting this. Is it a dead end? Oh, it looks like it might be a one way thing, or I don't know. Where are we? Up. Okay, it's fine. What I'm gonna do is use uh, warp and then take the uh, take the uh, just warp back to the survival guide. Okay, and one more. Yeah, I remember a long time ago, I one of the items I got from the Gobi Bag box, or the Gobi box, was uh, an Eft skin. Now I know what an Eft is. Alright, so there we are. We got a hard leather ring. What does that do? A little agility and defense. Big deal. Now what we want to do is... We want to hop on... Where do we buy a ticket? Oh, maybe from her. The man, mana clipper bound for, yeah, that's what we want, is in two minutes. So where do we get a ticket? It's, is it from you? Welcome to Sunset Docks. Enjoy the sightseeing the Fisherman's Guild. May I help you? Buy a ticket. Tickets for the mana clipper are 80 gil. 
Multi tickets, which allow you to ride 10 times, can be purchased for a mere 500 gil. Um, okay, I'll buy a multi one. I'll probably be go. I'll probably go multiple times. Okay, so we'll just wait for this mana clipper. And this is a, a big boat that's going to take that goes all around Babiki Bay. And um, it's going to specifically take us to that uh, per Perga Norgo Isle. Okay, so we're on the boat. I'm just waiting for it to take off. Is there any people? I guess you could probably talk to... No, can't talk to people on this one. No captain. Well, not yet. Maybe once we get going. Eh, should have brought my fishing... Should have brought my fishing rod, but oh well. All right, and off we go. Alright, so we're setting sail away from Babiki Bay. This is just a little kind of slow-moving barge-type ship that just floats around the inlet here. Mm-hmm. So we want to go to Pergong... yeah, per per Perganorgo Isle. So I'm not sure how we can really tell. Let's talk to people here. Nia Mischat. This man mana clipper is currently following the Milayakalea reef course. We should arrive back at sunset docks in about three hours, which is Earth time. Mm, so I guess that means we're going the wrong way. Milayaka, yeah, I guess we're going the wrong way. So we can probably just stay on it though. Anyway, I'll just have to let you guys know once we get there. Let's kill some of these things while we're here. Here's an Urag Knight. I've never seen anything like this before. An Urag Knight. I don't suppose there's a Records of Eminence thing for here. Doesn't look like it. Ah, isn't it great out here in the open sea? Yeah, so, yeah, the boat kind of rotates between going to those three locations you see on, uh, you know, we've seen on the map. So, right now we're going this way, which is not where we want to go. So, yeah, let me just look at the schedule here. Yeah, so it looks like the per Perga Norgo Isle is after this one. And then it does the Dolmo Rock last. <sighs> anyway. Oh well. I'll let you guys know when we're sailing on the right boat. It's the right boat, just not the right route. The man clipper has arrived. Let's take a look at our map. It's one of those crustacean things. So here we are, Perganorgo Isle. 
It's not the biggest area. Shouldn't take too long to just quickly investigate around here. Um, it's still considered Babiki Bay, so we don't have to do any fighting. We don't have to do ten monsters or anything. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is call our mount. So, we want to go... We want to head towards H11. So we're pretty close to there already at H8. Let's go for a little exploring around. I mean, other than fishing, I'm not exactly sure what you're normally supposed to do here. Alron. It's a new monster. Looks like a man related to the Mandragora. So there's probably harvesting spots, I would imagine. Stuff around here. Probably trees you can cut down or things you can dig up. Um, yep, this looks good. Just keep on following this path. A little exploring. What are we going to find around here, huh? What are we going to find? Uh. Let's go this way. I haven't seen any harvesting spots yet, but, um, anyway, so, we're at H10, so H11 should be coming right up here, so, probably around this area. So, yep, yeah, good, here we are, so this is the southern part of the island, H11, here we are, so, is that it? I think that's it right there, a war machine. That's what we're looking for. Wow, I thought we would have to spawn it. But... Alright, so we'll call in our party. I'm pretty sure we're going to fight this thing. Let's see. Alright, so, let's approach the war machine, engage it for a cutscene. Clunk, clunk. The machine has noticed something behind you. Clunk, clunk. Whirl, whiz. So, Oko, you came even after I specifically requested that you entrust this matter to me. I suppose it is your prerogative as an adventurer to poke your notes into other people's business. However, you really are too forgiving. Those who find enjoyment in the humiliation of others need to feel the sting of regret for their actions. Hey, okay. That was quick. Look at what you've done to my war machine. After all I went through to get my hands on one. You're so mean. You're so terrible. You're so ugly. You waste your time speaking through these Mandragoras. Are you listening, Vuki Chabuki? I am Louvron Sen Mistal, representative of the Sandorian Cathedral. Show yourself immediately. Well, well. I never really believed you met your end in Sandoria. I could never forget the cuts of that blade. You won't fool me. Throw down your sword. One false move, and that bird will be on a direct flight to the Chateau d'Aguil. It carries a note for the Royal Knights, one that informs them of your survival. Ha! Huh. Still prepared for the worst, as always. 
Your cowardice has worsened with age. But perhaps you didn't hear me clearly. I am Louvrens and Mistal. Even with the assassination of Francmage, the family of Mistal still retains honor among the knightly orders. With that family name at my disposal, your trivial note will amount to nothing. I tire of your games, Vuki Chibuki. Why would the scion of such a noble Marquis family act in this way? Did you argue that honor alone will not fill a hungry belly? That is the kind of reasoning I would expect from a Taro Taro with no understanding of the I with no understanding of the term honor. It is the complete opposite. I have chosen to use my influence to see that justice is done. To see justice done? Your notion of justice should have been erased years ago, along with the destruction of Tavnasia. It is true that even now, twenty years after the war, the ruins of the Marquisate still crawl with the remnants of the Beastmen army. However, the wards erected around the Sacrarium by Cardinal Mildorian sheltered the underground delivery tunnels from invasion. I have discovered that the safe hood built within those tunnels harbors the refugees of Tavnasia. Refugees? Are you certain? If you had not chosen to waste your time here lamenting the past, this revelation would have reached you as well. The refugees of Tavnasia have already presented their plight to Juno and asked for a member of the government to visit Tavnasia. Juno? A government official immediately entered the safe hold under the pretense of aid. Without the knowledge of the Tavnasian survivors, he proceeded to rifle through the contents of the aquarium. Huh. But this is a great news. At least the inhabitants of the Marcasate weren't completely obliterated. Those trinkets of the past have no use for anyone. Juno can take anything they want if the refugees are to be saved. But can it truly be said that the people of Tavnasia will be rescued? You lost a wife and children in that war. Everyone who survived that travesty lost something or someone dear to them. Their spirits have suffered a terrible blow. They have spent years cowering from the shadows of horrors that lurk beyond the walls of the safehood, safehold. And those responsible for the current state of the Marquisate have all but forgotten its existence living in blissful ignorance. These very, these very same villains are soon to be recipients of tears of gratitude for the very people they condemn to misery. Do you mean to simply stand by and watch the injustice unfold, even though the truth weeps silently in your hearts? What else would you have me do? Surely you don't intend to tell them what really happened. Yes, that is exactly what I propose. I will shed light upon the dark purpose of the Allied Army, hidden behind the confusion of the Great War. I will also call for assistance in the restoration of the nation of Tavnasia. But what? You can't possibly do this alone. <laughs> it is the realization of that very fact that prompted my return. I already control the successor of the Tavnasian Marcasate. Preparations to receive funds and troops from a certain wealthy family are also well underway. The wealthy family is willing to pour its resources into recovering the knowledge and relics that have been collected over the years by the Tavnasian Cathedral. However, these relics have all been taken by Cardinal Mildorian, and her present whereabouts are unknown. That is why I have come to request information from you. I wish to visit the source of this bounty. I need to know the way to the city of Altair. Along with several others, you were on a secret mission from the cathedral to find the path to the celestial capital, were you not? Th that may be so, but we were never able to discover a way to Altair. Then why, my little friend, did the Tavnasian Cathedral call upon me to silence you? You must have discovered something. Now choose. Will you keep your silence or keep your life? Wait, wait, I'll tell you. We discovered that the way to Altair opens once every 100 years. That's all we found, I swear. Once in a 100 years?
That's, ev that's everything I know. Time for me to leave. My, my. He does move fast for such a diminutive chap. Never mind. I have the information I came for. The stone statue I saw in the Mimeo mirror is the statue of Promethea, the one kept in the reliquarium of the Tavnasian Cathedral. Could the statue also be a relic from Altaïa? Which would mean that the professor from Windurst... Clunk, clunk, whiz, whiz. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're going to be heading to Winders next. Okay, so here we are in Winders Walls. We can come here to Yarin Oren's place. And we can get a little more information from him. What now? You want to know a thee where the statue of Tavnasia came from? I fought a thee I already told you. The statue was covered in traces of soil similar to that found a thee on the bottom of the Sea of Shumeo. But wait a thee just a moment. Now that you mention it, there were also traces of Gusterberg soil mixed a thee with the samples. I did not think of thee anything of it at the time. Why would a thee there be two parts, two types of soil on the statue? Hmm. Gusterberg, huh? All right. Well, let's head to Northern Gusterberg then. Are these rolling berries? Yeah, we'll head to North Gusterberg then, do a little investigating around there. Okay, so we're in North Gusterberg, sort of in this area here. Normally we go up here to go to the Palboro Mines, but this time we're going down here. It's the first time we've sort of investigated this little corner of uh, Northern Gusterberg here. And uh, I'm kind of shocked, actually, to find that there's actually an area down here, a cave down here that we've never been in. I never even knew this existed down here. Who knew there was a whole other cave here? This must have been part of the uh, expansion. Because nothing ordered us to come here or directed us this direction. But here we are. Lo and behold, down here, there is... Um, there's a cave. We want to make sure we go in the there's, there's more than one entrance, I think. Yes. We want to make sure we're going in the right one. Um, hold on, let me just check. Okay, I guess that's it. Maybe not. Let me just check. I gotta, gotta make sure we're going in the right entrance. Yeah, I guess that's it. Because there's a northern entrance and a southern entrance. There's two entrances to this uh, mine. Alright, let's go in this one, see if this is the right one. So here we have Olten Mav Mavalpolis. Why, if it isn't the adventurer, Oko, I must commend you on your insight. Yes, it was nearly 100 years ago, too, that the Moblins wandered their way up from the bowels of Vanadil. And then the Tarotaro scientist who examined the statue in Tavnasia, what he said about the statue dug up from a labyrinth. I advise you, do not let down your guard when traveling through these caves. The Moblins' behavior is often erratic, and they can be quite nastier than their cousins on the surface. Out of all the beastmen, they seem to realize that they are the children of the twilight, and it is this fact that drives them. And yes, one of my colleagues said he spoke with a creature 
known as a Tarnot Tarnotic, deep in the eastern end of this area. The Moblins call Oldton Navopolis. Whether that beast will help you or not, I still am not convinced that the cave is truly the path to Altair. No, Larry, there's what's his face. It cannot be. All right, so let's check things out here. So, Ultimavopolis, here it is. So, there's our records of eminence. I'm gonna walk past most things unless we get aggroed. Not gonna worry too much about these goblins. Not the ones in the first level, at least. What's that? Bugbear... Bugbear's Serving Man. Whoa, that's a new thing. Let's fight it. It's like a troll or an arc, something like that. It's got one of those muzzle things that the moblins like to wear. Wow, this area looks really neat. Yeah. Let's go this way. Now we got bombs here. An ancient bomb. Yep, this looks good. Let's head in this direction. This area is quite, actually quite big. Moblin Chapman. Moblin Witchman. This is definitely the place to come if you like fighting goblins, it looks like. Yep, that's good. Let's head up into this new area, new map. So now we're in a new map. Okay, we're just gonna go forward here and then go left. Okay, so we're basically trying to get to this area here, so we're almost there. So... <laughs> Alright, I'll fight some of these. Get some more of our records of eminence filled out.
Yeah, the music reminds me a little bit of Final Fantasy VII. This actually all looks like something you'd find in Midgard too, doesn't it? A little bit. A Moblin Gurney Man. Okay, so, we got a moon something, a moon earring for our Records of Eminence. Let's take a quick look at that. Gives you a hit point and bonus to your holy damage. Sounds like something else is trying to fight us. Oh, you were part of the party, huh? A freelance. Moblumen ingot. Moblumen ingot. Interesting. All right, I'll just run past any, everything else now. So, is this the right way? I think so. Yeah, let's see what we got up ahead here and investigate this area. I have no idea where I'm going. <sighs> Let me see here. Where do we want to go, huh? This is kind of an overwhelming area. Ugh. I didn't realize it was going to be so difficult. But uh, see this guy here, Tarnotic? I'm Tarnotic, hmm? You guys that want to go deep into Maval Mavalpolis? You crazy. Crazier than Tarnotic. But I like crazies. I take you. But first you give me goody. I want crazy goody. I want flower that grows in snow. That's crazy. You give me crazy flower and I take you to shaft 2716. Yeah, and that's where we're trying to get. Ugh. And that's probably going to be the easiest way to get there. Unfortunately... Um, unfortunately, I didn't bring a flower that grows in the um, snow. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get a snow lily. And I'll just come right back. Uh, where are we going to get that from? Let me see here. Well, we could buy one at the auction house or we can... We'll have to get one. Hmm. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. It was Tarnatic, right? Yeah. So, let's give... I got a couple from the... Um, I bought more than one because I think we're going to need to do this again later. If you can believe it. Snow Lily. Tarnatic Happy. 
Tarnatic like creepy adventurer. Moblins no break promise. Tarnatic take you to shaft 2719 now. Take a look at the map and find out exactly where he put us. Mm. Hold on, let me go back. I think this is sort of like an area where there's a burning circle battle arena or something. Some... Yeah. So I wanted to make sure that we went back so that we could at least activate this. All right. So there we are. Now we can take a look at where we are. All right. So, yeah. We're all the way over there now. Let's move forward then. All right, so now we'll proceed forward. Here's the shaft entrance. A century of hardship. Prometheus reborn. Prometheus reborn. He's stronger than stupid Hume Hume. He's more powerful than ugly goddess goddess. We'll take him, moblins don't break promises. We'll take him to sparkly place. Yeah, sparkly place. For the turning water turn with rocks. But sweeze digs, moblins don't break promises. Weez takes a Prometheus to Sparkly's places. I never imagined we would see Celtius in this place. However, what could these creatures be jabbering about? Shua! Who are you, people? Do you know who that boy is? A Galka? I am Jabos. I have lived with the Moblins for a long, long time. A long time in peace. But lately, the Moblins act strangely. They praise the Twilight God. They attack the children of Altana. But I'll stop them, I promise. Moblins don't break promises. Now go, leave the rest to me. But... Out of the way! Mackie's coming through! Out of the way! Kookie's coming through, too! Wait right there. Why, you are those pesky children from Tavnasia. Whoa! It's the funny-looking boy. Whoa! I told you we shouldn't have taken that shortcut. Whoa, who cares? Let's catch him. Oko, this is a perfect opportunity to take Celtias into custody. We cannot pass it up. Let's bring in our friends. So we definitely want Tenzin. And since we're in Bastok, I'm gonna go with uh, Volker. Of course, we have to have Valaneral for the. Um. Yeah, for the Provoke. That's the one that Valaneral uses, I like. Okay. So I don't think we need to use any food. Any buffs? I don't think that'll be necessary. Let's just head forward here, start the battle. This one's against a bunch of moblins, I believe. Is this the battle arena? No. Is there a map here? No, there's not. Hello! There you go. There's something. There they all are. 
So I guess we'll go with this Bugby first. He looks like the muscle. Hmm, something just healed him. Yeah, he's getting healed, but it's not enough to save him, I think. Alright, there's one down. Swip a stick. Trick a trap. Check a chop. And move up. I think this must be the last one. Where's Tenzin going? Oh, he's using his bow and arrow. So, I think that's it. Good work, team. Is that all you got? I could beat you all with one hand. It's time for the tickle torture. Ugh! Stop right there! Let us out of here. Let us out. What's this, this? Oh, free Taro Taro. Look tasty, tasty. We're delegates from Juno. You touch us, you're toast. We're delegates from Juno. If you don't let us delegate, you'll be toast. Shut up, up. Shut up, up, up. Noisy Taro Taro give Moblin Moblin headache. Be quiet or I cut your throat, throats. Delegates? You would not happen to have been sent here by Nag Malada, would you? Wait, everyone. Calm down. Listen to me. Jabo Jabo, what do you want want? That boy, he's... he's not Promethea. He looks nothing like Promethea. Huh? Doesn't look like Promethea. You know what he looks like? Yes, I've seen Promethea. His statue. Statues? O's? That's statues. These ones that's got stolen? Yeah, yeah. I saw it too, too. It looked nothing like the boy boy. But, but, boy boy used the dark, dark power, just like legend says. Yes, but there is no crystal on, this ch on his chest. He can't be the real Promethea. And you weren't created by Promethea anyway. Jabo Jabo. Don't start tart. Don't start start with that again. Jibs. Jibs with bliggers. Jabuz is fooled by bad people. Bad people must pay. Leave them for Thai Sai dinner. Yikes. If you do that, we won't be able to trade you Prometheus statue. No Prometheus statue. Statue? Taru Taru, you have statue statue of Twilight God God? Taru, you dug up Promethea statue. Yes, we know all about that white statue. Yeah, you want that statue? You trade us the boy. Yeah, trade us the boy. Moblins want want the statue statue. It's written in Moblin legend legend. But we can't give them reincarnates of Prometheus. <laughs> We gave him the tool. Maybe you can come back and kiss him. Prometheus angry. Prometheus getting away. 
wait, 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 wait. My reward's running away. Ah, open, open, open. My reward's getting away. Wait, I'll let you out. Travelers, this place is dangerous. You should leave right away. The Moblins are upset. Who knows what they might do. Don't look back. Run. And don't... Don't tell anyone what you heard or saw here. Don't. I do not think that will be possible. Mr. Jabos. Of what the Moblins said, there is still much that troubles me. What were they talking of with the boy? You must tell us. It may aid us in finding Seltius and bringing him into custody. Showa, uh, so you know of the boy. I, too, wish to know more. We must go to Bastok. That's it. Master Sid may know more of what is going on. I shall lead the way to the metalworks. There you can inform us of what you know. Oko, I will meet you again in Sid's laboratory. All right, so we get a little experience for that. Um, I have a little note here indicating that before we leave, there's something I want to farm here while we're here. Just gonna put a party together. I'm gonna do this off screen. But basically what we want to do is I'm gonna be fighting uh, monsters around here until we receive a gold key. There's lots of uh, lots of the moblins around here. Drop them. But um, I don't think we've gotten it yet, have we? I guess we should check. No. I'm going to drop this. I don't need this. A Corsair's testimony. We're never going to be a level 75 Corsair. <laughs> okay, so. Um, Alright, so, like I said, I'm just going to wander around and grind for a little bit until we find a gold key. And then we'll, and then we can go. There it is, the gold key, the first monster. Our first attempt. That didn't take long. <laughs> Alright, so there it is, an elaborately designed solid gold key. Let's head back to uh, Metalworks now and talk to Sid. You say you're looking for Lovrance? I'm sorry, I haven't seen him around since he left. Uncle Sid, a pack of angry goblins attacked the steaming sheep restaurant. Master Ogby drove them away, but not before they injured some of the guests. Goblins in Bastok? Is Hilda alright? Oko. Come with us right away. Jabos has been taken back to Mavalpolis. Jabos? Jabos? Who's that? A Galka who has been living with the Moblins in Mavalpolis. For the past century, he has watched over the creatures, 
trying to convince them to live in peace with those in the world above their dark caves. Forget about that man. He has forgotten his roots, thrown away his identity. He is no longer a Galka. The Moblins attacked him, hmm? It's probably his own fault. It may be, but we cannot look the other way. Without the assistance of Jabos, we may never catch Saltiz. Kamoko, we must hurry back to the underground city. I can't believe they make us come all the way here just to go all the way back. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Ah, oh, boy, how annoying, huh? Okay, I'll just meet you guys back there. At least we got the... The save point. I hope we can use that. Okay, so we could have gone... We could have gone back to that Moblin... Um, his name was Tarnatic, the guy we gave the Snow Lily to. So we could have gone to him for a little extra dialogue uh, to talk to him, but he would have just told us, you need a gold key, which... Well, I've already told us, and we already got. Um, yeah, in order to move forward. And what we do is we take that gold key, and we're gonna trade it to this, I think. The shaft entrance, yeah. Trade... There's the gold key. You! Why, have you returned? I have nothing more to say to you. Don't worry, I will convince the Moblins. I just need more time. More time. Come to your senses, man. You've been trying to convince these creatures for the past 100 years. They have not listened to you before, and they are not about to listen to you anytime soon. The beastmen were born from a seed different than you and I. They will never understand our logic, and we will never understand theirs. Yes, there are a few individuals on both sides that learn to feel for the other. However, when the species unite as one, their nature takes control. The will of the group overrides the will of the individual. This will is their destiny, a destiny that cannot be altered. The boy we are after, Celtiz, the Moblins will never betray him because this is the will of their species. And the will of their species is that of the Twilight God, Promethea, the same will that Celtiz inherited over 10,000 years ago. No, you are wrong. The Moblins are merely blind, blind to the truth. They were tricked. Tricked? Tricked into what? Listen to me. Long, long ago, the Moblins were searching. Searching for an iron giant bathed in light. Their legend. It says the iron giant, he will give them power. So the Moblins began digging. But what they found, it wasn't the iron giant. It was a stone statue. But they believed it was what they had been searching for. Though no matter how much they prayed, no matter how many offerings they gave, the statue gave them nothing in return. To learn the reasons why, they left the caves and began to attack people. They would kidnap and pillage, all to find an answer. I knew I must try to stop them, so I set out on a journey to learn of the statue. The statue? It was not long before I learned it was not the Iron Giant, but Promethea. I told this to the Moblins, hoping they would understand and change their ways. But I was wrong. I had opened Pandora's box. The Moblins started to believe they were the children of Promethea, and that it was their destiny to hate and destroy the children of Altana. And that is why you remain here, with the Moblins? To convince them of their misunderstanding? To repent for your sins? Jabos. You need not burden yourself with such futile efforts to shake unwavering destinies. The Moblins would have eventually realized they were born of the Twilight God. No, no, the Tavnasian priest told me. Our legend was wrong. The Moblins were not born of the Twilight. Preposterous! 
Are you to have me believe that an official from the Tavnasian Cathedral denied the teachings of Altana? I have never heard such an outrageous thing. Are you in your right mind, man? I know only what I heard. The priest, she helped me. She said the Twilight God died long before the Beastmen were born. But he will return and bring the end of the world. She also told me to continue searching for the true Iron Giant. And when I found him, the slumbering gods would show me the truth. Then she rid this place of the statue. With their statue gone, the Moblins returned to their caves and began digging once more in search of the Iron Giant in peace until they found the crystal, the crystal that breathes life into Venadiel. Jabu Jabu, why didn't you tell us? Chekochak, Jabu's, Wee's heard everything. Jibs, Jibs, didn't tell Mobles the truth, Jibs betrayed Mobles. Movamuk, Trickatrap, Jibus, Jabos, Where's Very Mads, Very's, Very's Mads, Jabo Jabo, we've never never been this mad mad before, Jabo never never lied to us before, I'm sorry I didn't mean to, yes I lied to you, I was told you were children of Promethea but I couldn't believe, that's why I kept searching. Searching for someone who would tell me the truth. Searching for the real God. Jabu's, you can't fool us again. You can't trick us again. Jabu's, Mobley has nothing more to say to Jabu's. Wait, I... Jabu's, good byongos. Good boy. Good byongo. Wait, Jabos, what did they say? Where are you going? I must go. They told me goodbye. And come with us. Jabos, your strength and will to save the Moblins. Why not use that ability to save us as well? Save us? Just as the Moblins are bound by the chains of Promethea, the children of Altana, too, are in danger of meeting the same fate. If the chains are merely part of the Twilight God's curse, then possibly what you said is true. The Moblins are not the children of Promethea, but simply diseased by his evil will. The chains of Promethea? Come, Jabos, let us meet with Sid and derive a plan to rid our world of the Twilight's darkness once and for all. I will help you to save them. Not us, them. My friends, the Moblins. Once again, we'll head back to the Metalworks and report into Sid.